Okay, for today's vlog, um, I'm just kind of laughing about it. Yesterday, they had me sign papers. Um, it said your old shift was 8 to 2, your new shift for that Friday, which is today, 10 to 7. Well, I punch in at 10 to 7, it allows me. And, um, here's the crazy thing. Um, they go and they tell me, we already have a cart pusher scheduled right now. I'm sitting there going. Then he was, it says on the paper that they had me sign. So. They had me punch out and they said, wait till three. They didn't realize they allowed me to sign because it said, sell, sell, sell. So, it ain't my fault that that's what their paper said. So, I kind of just want... Everyone understand, um, I think this was the manager's error. They said, you work at 10 to 7. And I was sitting around, I don't know what their plan is. So I guess they thought that it wouldn't allow me to punch in. Well, it did. So I had to punch back out, and I'm sitting there going, what the hell? Yeah. So it's going to look like I took um, from 10 to 3 an extra long lunch break. So what I want people to be aware of is... If you are a manager, please look over your paperwork that you're going to have a pe person sign. Because if it says um, 10 to 7, please read it. So, um, I think it's Dan or Amber that signed that paper that said that they want me in today, 10 to 7. So I get to work just like the paper says. I probably should have taken a freaking photo shot of the paper, uh, which I didn't. So, here's the thing. So, I think this is what I think the problem is. I don't think whichever one of my managers that um done the paperwork.
So since it says you work 10 to 7, that's what it says on the paper. So since it says you work 10 to 7, you work 10 to 7. I don't care what anyone says, but they should have apologized and had you um, still worked on shifts, even though they had two people start at that time. But, um, I just want everyone to know yeah, because I packed the lunch because it's at ten to seven. No one realizes that they did that. So, I'm hoping to get them in arts by, um, by May because just like was yesterday, I had two rails on me and I was just dragging them out and then the cashier wanted me to help. A customer I wasn't refusing to. And I just wanted, I told her, I will be back to help as soon as I drop these off somewhere. I dropped them off somewhere already where I know there was going to be cameras. So... So, Maria Bannon all of a sudden chews me out after I'm done helping her, saying, oh, you got to leave them carts and help a customer no matter what. I'm like, so what I did was I hid my hand where I don't need to come in on camera. I stuck up my middle finger at her where she can't see it. And I'm like, I didn't want to tell her. People will steal anything. They will steal these even if you're sitting there on the register. And they'll run out the door and they'll throw them in the back of their truck. So. You know. I would like her to apologize, but is that going to happen? No. Yeah. I pretty much got chewed out for coming in the work, just like that paper says, too. And I think what they should have done was quickly dug around for that paper. Looked at what it said, and since it said 10 to 7, they should have said to Aaron, we are sorry. And say, for our mistake.